What's up guys? It is your friendly neighborhood IT girl, Sierra, here again today with another hack of how you can get certified in your next big certification. Today's being the CompTIA Project Plus. So if you guys want to know how to get certified quick, fast, easy, and to the point, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe so we can continue these kind of chats. All right, so I think it was last week or the week before we talked about how to pass CompTIA A+. So if you're also doing that certification, feel free to check that out right here. But today we're diving into the CompTIA Project Plus, which is another one of the certifications CompTIA doles out. This one focusing on project management and essentially like how you can better communicate and deal with managing uh, small to mid-sized projects. So let me tell you how I pass CompTIA Project Plus first, and then I'll tell you how you guys can pass it now in the 2022 era so that you don't have to do what I did if you don't want to. And basically what I did was read the book. I, I read, well, it wasn't the, the CompTIA Project Plus book. It was the, the book provided by my school, and I read through that book in about three days. And then I took the test and it was done. I passed. It was totally fine. Wasn't that long. Not a big deal. So if you like to read, you can read the CompTIA Project Plus book or if your school gives you some sort of a learning resource, you can read that. Super easy. Can still do it quickly. I'm going to tell you how to do it even quicker now though. So the quickest way that you can do this now is by going to Udemy, my absolute favorite. You know, I talk about Udemy a lot and getting the CompTIA Project Plus, um, I forget what the numbers are, but it's by Joseph Phillips. And this is a great class. Everybody raves about it on there. They do say sometimes that he can go into a little bit more detail than you actually need for the test. However, like, is that bad? It's only 11 and a half hours worth of content. So you literally can get it done in a day if you want, um, you know, spread it out a little bit if you want to take a little bit more time and just let, let things sink in more. But you can literally get this done so fast you could pass it in a day if you wanted to if you can like memorize all that stuff in one go so get this course go through it like i said he might go into more more uh, description than you might need but in the end it'll be better to have more more information than less now you guys know i talk about mike myers and how much i love mike myers i think he's just the most adorable little thing so joseph phillips is not mike myers <laughs> let's just put it out there he's not but at the same time it's like he's a more serious kind of guy like he's a more serious guy but at the same time he's still fun he's very excited about the material um i think he explains it really well personally i like to watch things in uh, at least 1.5 to 2 times speed. I don't like watching things at the speed that they're meant to be watched, essentially. And his translates very well to higher speeds. So if you're like me and you like to watch it faster, I do think that his translates better to watching it faster. So that's something to keep into consideration when you're doing it. So like I said, it's 11 and a half hours worth of content. You can shrink that down if you're watching it at two times speed, you know, whatever the half of that is, five and a half, five and two, five and a quarter, five and a quarter. Math is hard. But yeah, so that's how you can pass this really, really quickly within a day. Like I said, for me, three days is what I did it in, just reading the, the book and then taking the exam. But Project Plus in general, I actually really enjoyed this one. You're going to want to focus on um so you're going to want to focus on definitely ways to communicate siloing and things like that you're going to want to know the uh, the software development life cycle the sdlc and the different ways that you can go about that agile versus waterfall you know kanban and scrum and things like that um so make sure that you pay attention to those things specifically and i don't know i think that's it for you guys uh that's that's the information that i have on how to pass project press project press God, I need to work on enunciation. That is how I have to pass Project Plus <laughs> very, very quickly. So like I said, with these two things, either getting this course and watching the full course or reading the book, you can definitely pass this within a day to three days. I think maximum a week, you should definitely be past this Project Plus. So take that information, do with it what you will, and break a leg on your next exam, guys. Bye.